Hello, everyone, and welcome to How to Life with Dear Ali. Why are you that taller than me? Because I'm sitting on my knees. Oh. Does that matter? A little bit. No! Thank you so much for coming today, everyone. This is a video and a podcast. So if you are watching the video, that means there is a long version podcast available, which I will put in a link in the periphery of this video. Each episode, we will have a guest or multiple guests that will respond to a question. How to life. How to life. Why are we doing this? Or why am I doing this? Mainly because I have felt a lot of anxiety and stress in my life lately and panic on what I'm supposed to do with my life. And I decided to share my panic with everyone by asking the questions that I want to ask to people in front of you so that you can hear the answers also. How does that sound? Great. Excellent. Today, our guest is... Nusair Yassin, also known as Nas Daily. The illustrious Nas Daily. I feel weird because I'm not the person to succeed. I'm not the person to speak about success. You have 13 million followers. That counts as success. Does it? Yeah, hello. Okay, let's start. Okay. The topic we have today with Nas is how to succeed. And Nas is not super comfortable with that. I'm not that comfortable. Yeah, no, I'm not. It's kind of awkward to be labeled successful, but you must admit you just recently made a video called... My Secret to Success. My Secret to Success. So he knows he's successful <laughs> inside. No, I've had some success. I don't think I'm successful yet. But I've had some success. Do you ever think you will be successful? Uh, like fully, fully, fully? Yeah. Uh, maybe if I'm in the middle of a fight and I can just say, I'm successful and you're not. But, uh, ah, so but, you do think you're successful. No, it, only when it comes to defending my ego. But uh, if I don't have to defend my ego, then I wouldn't say I'm successful. Okay, well, we... No, that was a deep answer. We should unpack that. <laughs> so, as we mentioned, Nas has 13 million followers. He made 1,000 pretty good videos in 1,000 days without ever missing a day. Correct. That is crazy. Correct. Like what explain to people how how much time it takes to make a one minute video uh, It was a commitment. I started a thousand days ago. So around three years ago and the whole idea was to make a video every single day And it was a three hour long commitment uh, Sorry, did it say three hours? Yeah. Oh my god. It's Sounds a 10, easy. 10 to 12 hour commitment every single day. How much money do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the definition of success? That was the next question. Fine. Let's step back. What is your definition of success? Um, well, I, I actually think it's, it's all internal. So mm -hmm. like you could be successful and you could be a simple teacher and you could not be successful and you could be an astronaut. How much money do you make <laughs> a month? Is that the definition of success? Um, it is not the definition of success, but it is a way to have freedom and to be able to make an impact more easily if you choose to use your money that way. That's true. I don't know if I use my money that way. Mm -hmm. I definitely don't donate it. Not and, yet. And I, and I made a video why I don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it really ranges, but it's between mm -hmm. 50 to 100,000. A uh, month. Yeah, something like that. A month. So 50 to 100,000 is a lot of money to make it every is. month. It is. a lot of money for anyone, anywhere. Most people have the goal to make six figures a year and they're considered like, they're stoked. They're like, I make six figures, my life is set. So how does it feel to make that much every month? Well, I'm, I'm not the one who makes the most money. There are people who make $10 million a year or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, $10 million a month even. So I don't, you know, I don't know how it feels like for them, but I do know for me that double the money doesn't mean double the happiness. Mm -hmm. um, triple the money does not mean triple the happiness, if anything, Triple the money means 15% increase in happiness. So you do think it increases your happiness? To some extent, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay. And I no longer have to order the, less, the least expensive meal. Thank God. Yeah. I used to order the least expensive meal to save money. I'm very happy that I don't have to order it anymore. Yeah. You can eat whatever you want. Finally. If you ever become very rich, Finally. the biggest difference is you can eat whatever right? that's you the, want. That's the first thing I'm <laughs> thinking about. Because that used to be my sort of my form of like uh, mental, like, you know, fighting yeah. games, right? Like what can you order? I want that food, but I can't afford it. Uh, and now I can finally afford it. So you're from a small town. Yes. In Israel. Yes. With small no addresses or street names. We have no street addresses, no. If that gives you an idea. 
of the size of this town. How did you end up in Singapore? <laughs> I'm gonna end up in and Singapore. at Harvard. How did you end up at Harvard? How did you end up as a software engineer? And how did you end up with a company in Singapore? The it's, abridged version. Yeah, I mean, that's like how to succeed, right? And, yeah. And I think a lot of people are looking at it like, um, like, like it's a straight line that I know where I'm going. Like I mm. know my path. Like if you asked me three months ago, I would have, I would have not known I would be in Singapore. If you asked me four years ago, I would have not known I'd be making videos. And if you asked me ten years ago, I would have not known I'd be at Harvard. Mm -hmm. I have never predicted any of this crap. Technically, no one can predict anything. That's the that's the way life works. So I need to understand how you got from the village to Singapore, and did you know you would succeed? I think, I think. At, at any given point in time, you're presented with, you know, two options. Mm -hmm. um, definitely options at every given point in time, mm -hmm. and and it's about making the right, taking the right option at the right time, and with a nice, very high percentage of luck. Yeah, you'll be successful. So you think a lot of your success is luck? Forty per thirty thirty five percent of it. Yeah. Were there any specific things that happened that you're like that was lucky? I mean, meeting you was lucky, yeah. right? Like, if I didn't check my messages, I would not have met you. Mm -hmm. And maybe you made me more successful, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you made me less successful. No one really knows, but definitely more. Th but but definitely there is an effect in that meeting you by itself was luck. Yeah. Um, getting into or or. Getting my job, my first job out of college that may, gave me not the money was entirely based on luck. It just happened yeah. to be the founder is very similar to me. So he mm -hmm. gave me the job, not because I'm good, but because I'm similar to him. I'm going to ask you some questions from okay, go. the Gen <clears throat> Pub, go. From everyone. Let's do this. Okay. What is the cost of success? Uh, cost of success, less rela fewer relationships, uh, fewer fewer relationships, uh, less happiness. What is more important to be able to succeed, time or money? To For be sure, time. time. If you have, if you are able, well, if you are able to control your time in however way you want, it means you're up there on the level of success. What if you can't decide what you really want to do? I've never wanted to be a video maker in my life. <laughs> never thought about it. So it's okay if you can't decide what you really want to do. Eventually you'll find yourself as someone. That is not useful advice. That is the truth. I remember being a teenager and people were like, you'll just fall into what you do want yeah, to do. And I was like, I don't want to fall. You will literally fall. I fell, like I tumbled into this. Ugh, that's not a useful answer. But it is the truth. I don't want to give you answers you want to hear. You tumble into success most of the time. Oh man, well there you go everyone. <laughs> we'll bring a better guest next time who answers your question. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Bring okay. a self-help guru and we'll turn <laughs> crap. Okay, I'm just kidding. Who do you appreciate the most for letting your life get so far? By Anthea. Anthea asked this. Um, well, you know, it's, it's simple answers. Parents, obviously. Yeah. Oh, I thought it might be those guys who helped you get into college. From the internet. I mean, eventually, it, it goes down to parents who give you enough freedom to do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. If my parents didn't want me to travel to the United States and stay next to them as a doctor, I would be right now a doctor at a village, mm -hmm. making five thousand dollars a month instead mm -hmm. of fifty. Mm -hmm. So it really boils down to parenting and what freedom they give you. Give your kids freedom, parents. I do believe in that. Yeah. But don't let them do bad stuff. Okay. Yeah, I do believe in that too. There were so many questions about one thing. Motivation? Motivation! Mormon. So you followed that religion like a religion? Yes, I followed all the rules. Yeah, so I grew up as a Muslim, but my re religion is deadlineism. And deadlineism means just really putting a deadline for myself and following it like religion. And it's very, very helpful. It's amazing. It gives you the mo all the motivations in the world. If you set a deadline to yourself and respect it. Mm -hmm. so, so, so switch religions. Whatever you are, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, switch religion and join me in deadlineism. So Dalex8, one of our watchers, predicted you would say that. And they said, I saw the deadlines video, but what else can be motivating to finish successfully? Oh, man. These like, are, what is motivating you? Like, when, when these you're... are very tough questions. <laughs> Good at believing fake stories. 
it's fake. I put a fake story around why this is important and I believe it, right? Simple as that. I believe that this video is gonna change the world. It's fake, it's not gonna change the world, but I believe it will, mm -hmm. so I work my ass off. So I, you know, the only reason humans succeeded in the world is because we can create something out of imagination mm -hmm. and believe it. No, I, I actually believe those videos had a meaning. Yeah. Many, many, many times, many times, I put the video before the money. Um, and you've seen it, I just didn't even put ads on the video. It's so important. Yeah. How do you start out if you feel like nothing compared to others and have nothing? I've always felt like nothing compared to others. That's why I started out. Mm -hmm. That's the funny thing. I started out because I felt inferior to, yeah. to Jews in Israel, to white people in the United States. It's ridiculous, the classism that exists in your country. It's ridiculous. And that's why I wanted to, to, start, to start my journey to, to, to give a middle finger to it. To literally give this. <sighs> I'm gonna blur that out. To classism. <laughs> Noah Ghost Places asks, isn't success like 99% one's privilege and so do all these how to succeed really matter? Excellent question. A good amount of it, I wouldn't say most, but a very good amount of it is privilege. Yeah. I'm very lucky. I was born with a penis. Those are useful in today's society. A piece of meat, this, si this size. <laughs> Oh wow! This, this, uh, this, this, this. <laughs> a piece of meat, and, and think about it, right? It 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 gave me so much privilege to be male in today's world. That's why I can travel at night. That's why my parents let me travel. That's why I can do whatever I want. That's why I can hang out with whoever I want. It's the piece of meat, this size. <laughs> I would like, <laughs> I would like to thank you for acknowledging male privilege. My Megan. biggest privilege in the world is being male. My second biggest privilege in the world is having good parents mm -hmm. and my third privilege in the world uh, is not being personally in debt. As much privilege as I have, I'm still Muslim, I'm still brown, mm -hmm. I'm still a terrorist, I'm still with a bomb. Still from like a village I'm where... I'm still from a village in the Middle East. I'm not from no San Francisco. Street no street names. No street names. You feel left out. So I have a good amount of disprivilege or unprivilege, mm -hmm. um, but not to crazy amounts. How did you manage to not be so hard on yourself? I am very hard on myself. Mm -hmm. I'm incredibly hard on myself. Mm -hmm. I sometimes hate myself. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think that's probably one of the reasons why you need to succeed is you have to be very hard on yourself. How do, how do, you, how do you leave your well-paid job and go into the unknown? You don't, you don't. I only left it because I had enough money saved up. I, I, how I, much? I'm very risk averse. I saved $60,000 total. That's my risk averseness. And I said, I need to give myself one year without a job and I'll figure something else out. So in a way, leaving a high paying job is easier than people make it sound mm -hmm. because you have the savings to never be on the streets and to never ask money from your parents. How do you get over your insecurities that make it impossible to succeed? I turn it into anger like, um, but I think anger is sexy for men, it's unsexy for women. Yeah, people are like... So, so because I'm a man, I get to be angry and I get to have people respect me. If I was a woman, I'd probably turn my, my, uh, you, you know, my, my feelings into mm -hmm. something else. But right now, I scream a lot, I'm passionate about a lot of things. He called passion. Passion. Um, so I turn it into anger if I'm a male. If you're a female, there's a different answer. She will answer it later on. Will I? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Clement Leoti asks, how do you understand when it's time to give up? When your project is going nowhere? <laughs> I think if you call it giving up, if you call something giving up, it takes a bit of energy from your soul. And so I never call it giving up. Like in San Francisco, we call it pivot. So you don't give up, you pivot. I didn't fail, I'm just changing course. But he made 200 videos before he got a legitimately viral video. 200 days, 200 videos. I would have given up after like nine days. I would have been like, this is a failure. It's funny. Time to yeah. pivot. Yeah. So I think that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank not Staley. Thank you so much for your time. I don't know how to succeed, but I hope I gave you uh, a, a, a bit of my thoughts. Uh, and I hope you can succeed too. Stay tuned for How To Life by Dear Aline. See you later.